Yeah, it's Fugitive Australian journalist Shane Dowling from the website kangarooquarteraustralia.com. Now, the two brothers of New South Wales Premier Dominic Perrottet, who are Charles and John Claude, currently in hiding. They're fugitives on the run from a New South Wales Parliament corruption inquiry, uh, which is in relation to them trying to stack a council uh, with the Liberal Party cronies. And the way they could have done that is uh, by controlling the pre-selection. And they were going to do that on behalf of a property developer who wanted, uh, obviously, that uh, council stacked. Their actual council was the Hills Shire Council, and the property developer was John uh, Nassif. And he wanted it stacked, so that obviously approved all his uh, property developments in that area. So the corruption inquiry was meant to go ahead tomorrow and uh, Thursday, the 15th and 16th of February 2023. But it's looking like it'll have to be cancelled because they uh, wrote to them requesting them to show up and neither of them responded. So they issued subpoenas and they haven't been able to subpoena them uh, because serve them the subpoenas because they're hiding. Now, some people might say, oh, well, how do you know they're hiding? Well, I think it becomes very obvious when John uh, Native, um, the property developer, is in hiding in Lebanon. He says he can't show up to the corruption inquiry, the Parliament won. Uh, until after the March election. <laughs> There's an election on the 25th of March. So all this is happening in the background, and Dominic Perrottet, the New South Wales Premier, is uh, campaigning to be re-elected, while his brothers are in hiding from a corruption inquiry. Now, they've obviously determined, well, Dominic Perrottet says he hasn't spoken to his brothers, which is just not believable. They've obviously determined it's better for him to get re-elected if they don't show up and have that scandal than it would be if they do show up and give evidence. Uh, they obviously felt that's more dangerous, but they also do have the other issue that, that uh, the New South Wales Independent Commission Against Corruption is also investigating uh, them trying to stack the council. Now, so any evidence they use at the New South Wales Parliamentary Inquiry could ultimately be used by the New South Wales uh, Independent Commission Against Corruption. So that could be a concern for them as well. But I think at this point... The biggest concern is trying to get Dominic Perrottet re-elected. But like I said, they've obviously determined to go into hiding is a better option for him to get re-elected. So it must be pretty damaging. Now, the evidence all come out last year, uh, July last year, I think it was, 2022, and uh, New South Wales uh, Liberal Party politician blew the whistle. So it's very powerful evidence, and there was also a... Uh, Four Corners story on it, New South Wales ICAC are investigating. Uh, they are fugitives on the run in hiding. And I've had it confirmed. It's roughly uh, 11.30 Queensland time. I've had it confirmed. They haven't been able to serve them the subpoenas at this point uh, to show up to the inquiry, and they haven't uh, notified the inquiry that they intend on showing up. So they're in hiding at this point. So unless they uh, get served in the next sort of 12 hours or so, they're not going to be showing up tomorrow unless they have a change of heart. Now, I wrote two articles last year, uh, one specifically on this issue, which has got all the details. It's titled uh, New South Wales Premier Dominic Perrottet's Crime Family, which includes his brothers John Claude and money launderer Charles. They have a fairly extensive uh, criminal history, if you have a good look at it. That was uh, published on the 10th of July on my website, Kangaroo Court of Australia. But a few days earlier, I also published another one, which is worth having a look at, especially election time. Uh, New South Wales Premier Dominic Perrottet and his puppet master, Michael Fodius, the lobbyist who controls the New South Wales government. I published that on the 29th of June last year. That's worth looking at too, because he's the puppet master, Michael Fodius, is the one who put uh, Dominic Perrottet into power. And uh, so I have to wonder if he's involved in this corruption scandal at all. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's got nothing to do with it. But then again, who knows? And I'll be publishing another article on this issue on the 15th of February, 2023. So make sure you visit my website, Kangaroo Court of Australia, and you'll have all the details there. You'll be able to click on further information, et cetera. And please share this video on Facebook and Twitter, et cetera. And please hit the like and subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. Other than that, thank you for your time and have a good day.